yes, uh, when you purchase uh, fabric, you either choose to pay as you go model, where you can pause and resume capacity as you need. Or if you have more consistent usage, you can substantially save cost by purchasing reservations. Welcome back to the Azure Essentials Show. I'm your host, Thomas, and today I'm joined by Priyanji to talk about ways to save on Microsoft Fabric. Welcome back to the show. Thank you for having me, Thomas. So there is a lot to unpack here between Azure Reservations and Microsoft Fabric and how they work together. Can you start by refreshing our audience on the benefits of Azure Reservations and why they talk, take, uh, should take advantage of this? Absolutely. So Azure Reservations are a commitment model that enables customer to save on their spend when they commit to a specific resource in a specific region for a term. This is best suited for stable, predictable workloads. Customers are already familiar with how reservations work with VMs, but Azure Reservations can also be applied to other services such as SQL databases, AI foundry models, and Fabric. So this is all about getting the best price available, right? Like this is not going to impact your workload. That's correct. So reservations don't impact um, capacity or runtime behavior. They are just discounting benefits. And Azure uh, helps you decide what to reserve. It analyzes your usage for last 7, 30, 60 days and recommends options. Plus, you can also monitor usage in the portal. And tools like Azure Advisor will give you um, will guide you towards the right purchase. OK, so let's talk about this in the light of Microsoft Fabric, uh, which, as you know, is a really exciting end-to-end -end analytics platform. It really is. And I'm excited to see how users put Fabric to use. But as you said, um, it's an end-to-end -end data platform that brings together data orchestration, transformation, and real-time event processing, reporting, and even databases in a unified SaaS experience. Not only that, is an, it also has an AI experience integrated throughout, a single underlying data lake to unify all your data and roll specific workloads for data engineers, data scientists, analysts, and others. I love how Fabric simplifies data professionals' life by bringing everything together into one platform. But it also allows you to like simplify the purchasing process too, right? Absolutely. Unlike traditional services where you have to manage different pricing and capacities for each workload, with Fabric, you can buy a single capacity to power every capacity. You can purchase what are called Fabric CUs or capacity units. Different jobs across Fabric will consume your CUs at a different rate, depending on the compute power to run the job. OK, thank you for the context on how Fabric works and how it's priced. Uh, can you walk us through the purchase process? Sure. So let's start with the newly launched Microsoft Marketplace. This unified experience is your single place to find, try, buy, and deploy tens of thousands of solutions across Microsoft and our partners. I'll search for Microsoft Fabric. Be sure to click on the right option, Microsoft Fabric. Here, you can get an overview of the solution, see the ratings and reviews, and better understand the support. Go ahead and click and get it now. Since Fabric is an Azure resource now, creating capacities in da is done in Azure Portal. First, make sure you have the right active uh, Azure subscription assigned here. Then you can either assign an existing resource group, or you can create a new one for this capacity. With those sorted, you enter in a new name for your capacity. Then you can click on the region that you want. You should assign the region with your home region, if you already have Fabric, you can easily check your home region by switching over to Fabric. Clicking on the question mark in the top right, click on About Fabric, and then you will see what your home region is. In this case, it's not Central US. Awesome. OK, so this seems fairly straightforward. But we also know that sizing is critical. How do you get that part right? Good question. Let's switch back to the Azure portal then we can go ahead and pick the capacity size we want. There is a bunch to pick from. If you are not sure what SKU size to pick, I'll recommend checking out the new Fabric SKU estimator, which allows you to plug in the workloads you expect to run at scale. And then you can use the estimator to get the estimate of good SKU to start with based on your requirements. 
You could also try Fabric out via free trial and then use the Capacity Met Metrics app to monitor and evaluate your usage. You can always upgrade later or create multiple capacities as needed. For my requirement, all I need is, is F2 in this case, so I will select that. You can also create tags in Azure, which can help you organize, track cost, automate management, and across environments. They're essential for filtering, reporting, and enforcing governance at scale. And just like that, you have capacity ready to go. Perfect. Great. Thank you. Now, can you explain how exactly do reservations work with Fabric? Yes. Uh, when you purchase uh, Fabric, you either choose to pay as you go model, where you can pause and resume capacity as you need. Or if you have more consistent usage, you can substantially save cost by purchasing reservations. In our example, we purchased a F2 SKU in Microsoft Fabric. If we know that this F2 SKU will be running consistently for, let's say, reporting and analytics, purchasing a Azure reservations would make sense. The reservation discount automatically applies. You are only paying the reservation rate for the SKU then. All right. So uh, can you show me how I can purchase the reservation? Absolutely. So uh, let's get into Azure Portal and start. So I've already uh, gone to Azure Portal. When I click on Reservations, I can click on Add and then select Microsoft Fabric. I can choose what scope I should want. I want to apply my reservations on. So it can be shared management group, which is essentially a group of subscriptions, single subscription, and a single resource group. I select Fabric Capacity. Uh, it will give me the price I add to the cart, and I can adjust the quantity I want. In this case. I want two quantities, which is essentially the two uh, F2 SKU that we discussed earlier. We review and buy, and just like that, you've made a purchase. Awesome. So of course, there's a lot to account for with reservations. In your experience, are there any best practices that users should keep in mind? Yes. Let me hide a few um, things that could help you uh, get most out of your reservations. First, estimate carefully. Overcommitting to reservations can, could waste money, and an undercommitment would cost you more. Next, definitely turn on your auto renew, but adjust if your workloads change. Then, make sure to monitor your usage with cost management. And finally, pick the right scope so the benefit applies based on your org structure. This is great information, Priyanshi. I know that many of our viewers will appreciate finding ways to optimize their fabric costs without sacrificing performance and scalability. Where can le viewers learn more? We do have a plenty of documentation at Microsoft Learn. Fantastic. So you can find the links to everything we discussed today in the episode description below. Also, don't forget to leave your feedback in the comments. Let us know if you used Azure reservations for Fabric and how your organization benefited. And give our show a like and subscribe to the channel to get notified when a new episode drops. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on the Azure Essentials Show.